Hi folks, welcome to this project. A couple of weeks ago, I will also show you how you can send a message only using the power of the waves, using like a propeller. It was a very, very interesting project. Right now, I'm going to develop the project and put also electronic inside. So I will put a GPS, a solar panel, a battery, so that I can follow always this device. So follow me for a couple of minutes, I'll show you what's in my mind. So let's start the project taking this. This is a glass bottle, I choose one that is square, so that it's much easier inserting all the components inside. I will take now this, this is a glass cutter, and the method to cut the bottle is very easy. I put flat the glass cutter on top of this motorbike battery, and with the other hand I apply pressure and spin the bottle around. In this way I'm creating like a scratch mark in, on the glass exactly in the middle of the bottle. Now for completing the cut is necessary a applying some heat. So if, for example this lighter with a small flame is enough to heat up the middle of the bottle. So put the flame on, on top of the scratch and spin the bottle very very slowly. In this way I'm heating up the, only the center part of the bottle and now take some ice cold water and pour it very slowly on top of the scratch mark. In this way I'm creating heat stress and the little scratch become bigger and bigger so that I can cut a bottle using the force of only two fingers. I was talking earlier about the GPS and this is the GPS unit, it's very interesting, use two type of connections so I have GSM and GPS connection. The GSM used two antenna and this is like the mobile phone connection and this red one is the GPS connection that connects to the satellite. The other remaining cables is to power the unit on so I can choose 12 or 5 volts. This is an LED lamp that uses also a solar panel. Inside of it I can find a small battery and a circuit. These components are very interesting because it can convert 3 volts to 5 volts so I can power it on also the GPS and this is the solar panel that can charge up the battery. So this is the connection for connecting everything. We have the GPS unit that connects to the battery and the solar panel to the circuit. So let me explain how it works. During the day the solar panel gives energy to charge the battery. But during the night something interesting happens. This is all dark so we we'll stop giving power to the battery so it starts to so the circuit gives energy to the GPS, so the GPS works only in night. Other two little components are necessary for this project, a mobile card and also an SD card. The SD card is necessary because the GPS unit uh, records and saves all the data on the SD card, but all the data will send me, will be sent to me on a, with a message, a very simple message, via GSM using the mobile card. So let's install everything inside the bottle. The mobile, the GPS unit will be put here on the base. You can see it is almost a precise fit, and the solar panel will be placed here on the top. We only the battery is is left to put inside. I will decide to put it here on the front. I decide this uh, schematic, this position of all the components because I want that the weight of all the components is higher on the bottom part of the bottle. So even if the bottle will spin around and be shaken with waves inside the water, uh, the solar panel will stay always on the top. I will use now this, it is a foam mattress, it's a very thin one but very soft. I'm using this for three, three reasons, because I can protect the device from the extreme hot that is produced from the sun in the middle of the sea, because I want to throw also this from a very high level, maybe the impact with water can crash and break the electronic, and also because it's orange, so is a very is very visible and maybe somebody can pick up the bottle very very soon and this way I can now I can close the bottle finally so the front side is light in place but first let me write also the message because every bottle need a message inside so I'm rule off I'm doing this because it's a science experiment if you find the bottle please contact me contact me at the email or just call me at my phone so I insert the, the paper inside, it's also a good idea to seal everything, in, fa in fact later on I put everything inside like a, a very small plastic bag and some silicone is used to seal the, all around the plastic, the, the, the bottle. I also reinforce the, the, the bottle with some very very strong tape because I remember that the impact 
will be very strong from above the, from above the boat. So let's go cross the fingers. And now let's cross the finger and see where the bottle goes. At this point I leave you with my two previous projects, so you find the links here where there is the rainbow and also here below. So check them out and see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao ciao!